In this episode, I got my good friend Johnny with me. Johnny is a fellow YouTuber. He's got his channel, Johnny Builds, and he just built a really awesome deck at his house in Oklahoma City. We spent the last day working on the hardwood flooring and living room, but that is for a future video. In this episode, we're gonna put Johnny's deck expertise to use, head up to my roof, and build a really simple but cool roof deck so I can enjoy the outdoors this summer before I build my mega deck next summer. Let's dive into it. Heading downstairs, we got a whole truckload of lumber being delivered, courtesy of 84 Lumber. Super stoked that they're hooking it up because if you guys have seen lumber prices recently, yeah, yeah, they've actually come back down now. So it, it actually might be a good time if you've been putting off a project to go out, get some lumber. We got a whole boatload coming in, let's go get it. We got all the lumber here, and honestly, the most difficult challenge of this whole build is probably gonna be getting all those 16-foot boards up to the roof. So at this point, I guess it might not be the best time to mention that I am deathly afraid of heights. I do this all for you guys, we got this. Ready? Oh, that's heavy. How many of these we gotta do? I don't know if that's gonna work for all 80 boards that we have. So one second, I've got another idea. So the idea is applying a little leverage. We've got some ratchet straps. Johnny's gonna tie each board on down there and then I'm gonna hoist it up. I'm not gonna lie, this is grueling, but after about 15 boards, quarter of the way through, I think we finally have a good system. Johnny has cut a notch in a two by four that he's kind of using as a prong push stick. So he props it up, I grab it, he pushes and I heave at the same time, a count of three, and it kind of propels the board up to a point where I can just lean back and use my body weight to pull it over the edge. That's about two and a half hours of intense labor. You gotta stay fit, you know, abandoned building workout plan. I'm gonna go meet Johnny downstairs and we can start coming up with a plan for uh, building this puppy out. Day two of the Roof Deck Challenge and we're ready to start building in earnest. I wanna take a second and tell you about the structure we're building. It's called a floating roof deck, which means we're not gonna actually be nailing it into the roof. It's just gonna be sitting on the existing roof structure. So the most important thing with a floating roof is that you don't have any little points of pressure where it could damage the roof. You wanna distribute the weight of the roof evenly. And to do that, we're using something called sleepers. But because I have a poly iso sheet and I don't have a separate harder layer above it, we're gonna be taking a two by six and laying it flat on its side, then taking the joists and putting them on top, like an upside down T. And that'll give us a nice wide surface to distribute the load on. By the way, guys, Johnny just built a deck at, uh, on his channel. So he's got a lot more experience than I. So I'm kind of just referring to him on a lot of this right now. So you should listen to him. Uh, we'll cut the sleepers to eight foot. Okay. And that'll give us the entire uh, width of the deck itself. And then we need to cut the joist three inches shorter because we have to account for the inch and a half material on either side. <laughs> Day one of the challenge has been, uh, well, a little bit tougher than expected because First, I got the wrong size deck screws. Then I didn't have galvanized nails. I only had ones that would totally rust out. Two trips to the hardware store and now it's raining. We're still gonna do this in four days, but we're making things interesting. Wait, should we just cover the lumber we're about to cut? Two hours later. It stopped raining, the radar says we're good, so game on, game on guys. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So actually, no, we're not gonna do that right now. We're gonna have to pause until tomorrow because it's raining and it looks like a bigger storm coming in. So cross our fingers that tomorrow the weather is with us. I still think we're in good shape to finish in time. Sunny again today, thank goodness, at least a little bit. Hopefully the weather holds day three. We gotta pound this baby out. Pound? Pound. pound. We gotta pound out this deck. <laughs> First up, we got this rubber base sheet. It's a roofing material, waterproof, got a self-adhesive. We're gonna stick it to the underside of the sleepers to get some separation between the sleepers and the roof. And the reason we're doing this is that you want to avoid water cooling up next to the wood, right between the wood and the existing roof, which could lead to the rot, even when we're using pressure treated wood. Now I do wanna note that in my research, there were other materials that were recommended. Some of the professional deck builders recommended EPDM membrane and putting strips of that under the sleepers. Unfortunately, we've got a shortage of roofing materials right now. So we just kind of talked with the guy, explained what we were doing, and he recommended this rubber base sheet. It's waterproof, it's probably, I don't know, about four millimeters thick, so it should get the sleepers off of the roof and do what we need. Right now we're cutting down the spacers that are gonna run between the joists. And what Johnny's already done over here is cut down two pieces that are just a bit bigger than 14 and a half inches. Then he's gonna cut these at the same time so we know they're the exact same length and we get perfectly parallel joists. Hit it, buddy. Okay, well, weather gods are not uh, not working with us. We got mostly the, the two frames done here on day three, but it's starting to rain again. We just checked the radar and it looks like it's about to just dump, like raining cats and dogs on us. Yeah, we gotta pack it up. We're actually gonna try to come back later tonight when the storm passes, but hopefully it will pass, we'll see. We got in here in like just the nick of time. I mean, look how hard it is coming down right now. Woo, all right, do a little rain dance, guys. Let's get this to go away, all right. Dance for me! Next up, we're gonna add some of this joist tape or butyl tape. And what this does is it provides protection against water damage on the top of the joist where water could settle. You don't have to do this when you're using pressure treated deck boards, but it does add extra protection. So I think we should go ahead and add this. Now 
Mike, at this point, do you want to add some fascia boards to kind of cover up all those nail holes? Okay, yeah, I think I saw this in your video, just basically some yeah. boards that run along the outside and give you like a nice clean face without nail holes in them. Yeah. I like that, but because of the fact that I'm viewing this as a temporary deck setup, and I think I might take these eight by eight sections, sort of modularly and integrate them into the much bigger roof deck that I'm gonna be doing next summer. So I think we're gonna go with function over fascia in this case, just leave it as it is. Johnny, I, I gotta have a talk with you, man. What's up, Mike? Dude, we were moving those boards and those things are heavy and you are doing that in some running shoes, man. What do I do? Well, I gotta send you to see a friend of mine. We're gonna go downstairs, you'll see. Okay. Johnny freaking Bills, man! What's going on? Man, I heard that you have some lame shoes architect at your feet! I love hammering all my hats! But you don't want a nail in your foot, man! We gotta get you some area work boots! They are totally radical, man! Johnny Condor! I haven't seen you since the tour in 84, man! What's going on? So the reason that we're adding this joist here is to fix a mistake or actually just to accommodate a design decision that we've made on the fly that's gonna kinda change the way that these two deck pieces are arranged relative to one another. But we actually want the grass to sit a little bit below the top of the deck, so this piece to be lower. And we got this sleeper here, so what we're basically gonna do is just add this joist so we can extend the deck boards to here and then add thinner sleeper boards on the front piece with the grass so that it'll sit lower and the deck boards will be supported all the way to the edge. So we're about to start laying the deck boards here down on top of the joists, finish everything off, and we had a little design debate about whether to do picture frame borders around the deck. But again, this is supposed to be a quick and easy deck and it does add some complexity as far as blocking and doing supports when you add the picture frame bordering. And picture frame border kind of completes each piece and we want these to be modular and slot in potentially into a future deck that I'm building. It's gonna be over there. If you do wanna see how a picture frame deck is done, Johnny just did that on his deck on his channel and that will be linked in the description below. But now, let's cut down these boards and get to decking. where I'm glad I've got Johnny here because I was just about to start laying the deck boards down and just start screwing them in. We'll let Johnny explain to you how we're gonna do that. Okay, so like Mike said, we're gonna work from the outside in, but the first thing I wanna do is make sure my two outside boards are 100% parallel to one another. And how we're gonna do that is we're gonna screw these in, get them as close to matching the frame as we can, and then we'll measure along each joist. Once every single one of those measurements is exactly the same, we know we've got it parallel. So now it's time to start attaching the deck boards fast and furious. We got this Craig concealed screw jig that's basically gonna let us screw into the sides of the board really easily, just bam, 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 down the line, concealing all the screws so you, you don't see the heads. It'll look real nice and clean. So I know what you're thinking. It's now day five of the four day deck challenge. And yeah, we just decided to take an extra day because we were having fun. And you know, sometimes it's more about the journey. So, hey, why not? Gotta have fun with the build. Now, 
we're gonna finish it off. Well, Johnny's working on the main deck using the Craig concealed screw jig. I'm gonna be going through real quick, putting the boards down on the smaller four by eight pieces. Since these are gonna have pet grass on them, we're also gonna use a larger spacing on these boards to allow for, well, whatever Bruce does on the grass to get through there and drain onto the roof. So I've got some half inch plywood pieces here that I'm using as spacers on this board, and that'll give us half inch spacing between boards, whereas we're doing quarter inch spacing with the Craig spacers on the main deck. Dude, I can check this out. I can see the skyline. I can see the Sears Tower, aka the Willis Tower. Looks good, man. Looks real good. Sweet. All right. Well, uh, I guess we got to just uh, throw the grass on and clean this up a little bit. And then we'll get some of my outdoor furniture up here and maybe enjoy this space. So just because this is a basic deck doesn't mean it has to be basic. We actually went out, we picked up some really cool trees for a little extra privacy. We're gonna be setting it up with some cool outdoor furniture I had from my old place. And I think it's gonna look uh, pretty darn sharp. All right, so. Now is the moment of truth because the real person we built the deck for just arrived. And yeah, you wanna go see your doggy run? Yep, all right, all right. We're gonna go see what Bruce thinks of it. Let's go. All right, Bruce, what do you think? <laughs> Apparently Johnny, uh, Uncle Johnny is more interesting, isn't he? All right, let's get up here. What do you think? Oh yeah. Woo. What do you think? Come here. Yes, you love it. Oh. That is a wrap on the deck build and I am super excited about it, how it came out. I know I've been hyping up the ultimate roof deck that I'll be building next year. Right now, all I can really focus on is this one because I'm just super excited how it came out with the dog run, the grass, everything just, just adds some green space to my roof. I don't know, what do, you, what do you think? It's a good deck. It's the second best deck I've seen since I did my deck back in <laughs> Oklahoma City. Yes, actually, you guys all should go check out his deck on his channel. Very cool, he had some amazing LEDs, he had some composite decking for those of you that are gonna have questions about that. So definitely check his out too, Johnny Builds, link in the description. And of course, you wanna sub, like, all that good stuff. I'm kinda sad you gotta go home, man, but yeah. hug it out. Yeah, good. good. Good thing. Now, hey, uh, his deck may be wider, but my deck is longer. I'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>